Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. If you've been following along, we have the Canon M50 and the new Canon mirrorless M50 and in here for a review at Art of the Image. We've got the 1122, which I just unboxed on here, the M series wide angle. Looking forward to trying that out as a vlogging lens. We've got the 15 to 45 and we've got the 55 to 200 telephoto. That came with the camera in the two kit configuration. Um, these are all in from B&H, courtesy of B&H for review. Thank you to B&H. Uh, and the last thing I wanted to unbox and I'm also really excited about is obviously with the M series, if you want to get into the rest of Canon's beautiful lens lineup, you're going to need this guy right here. This is the uh, EOS M Canon adapter. So this allows you to use the rest of the Canon lenses, the EFS and the EF lenses on an M series body like the M50. What did I get in to test that with? Well, most of you probably would have guessed what I would have chose. One of my favorite lenses of all time from Canon, the 50 F1.8 STM. Favorite because it's a no-brainer. It's amazing performing little lens for $125 or even less if you get it on sale or a refurb. So very, very hard to beat. Probably the it could be the, the best value in the entire Canon lens lineup is this 50 F1.8 STM. Gives you a fast prime, gives you the ability to shoot in low light situations, gives you the ability to separate your, your background with shallow depth of field. You're, you're, um, you're able to uh, just do so much more with a fast prime. And uh, it opens up a whole new world of possibility to people that have never shot primes. So uh, a great, great lens. And I highly recommend this to anybody um, who's still shooting Canon APS-C and hasn't got into primes yet. Uh, it's, it's a lens everybody should own, I think. Let's get the M adapter out of the box here. We've got a, a warranty card in here, and we've got the M adapter. A little, uh, little manual there. We'll probably check that just to see if there's any... any th oh, and the M adapter has a tripod um, shoe. Actually, I shouldn't say shoe. A tripod sleeve or mount right there so that um, when you put a lens on here, you don't have to mount, it, it puts the, it distributes the weight more evenly because there's a tripod socket right on that uh, foot. So um, that is a little mount. It's actually, um, I mean, there's not going to be a lot to this because it's simply an adapter with the electronics. I mean, it does maintain the electronics, so you shouldn't, from all reports, we don't lose any um, ability, whether that's autofocus or exposure or anything like that when we're switching to uh, or using the adapter with a non M lens. So nice little nice little uh, adapter. I think these go for about $199. I'll put a link below. You can check them out. Um, but, you know, as you would expect, because it's a fairly simple device, not, it's not complicated. Um, it's, it's metal. And the fit and finish, the build quality on this is excellent. It looks great. It looks like, uh, you know, your standard Canon looks it'd be similar to what you might expect to see or you might you could even mistake it for like a 1.4 times telephoto adapter so that's it right there let's get the um the 50 f1.8 out of the box which you guys have seen many times because i've reviewed this with many cameras i love this little lens it's one of my favorite little lenses um let's get it out because we're going to want to put this on we're going to try this out on the uh m50 show you what the, the 50 looks like this, and this is a great lens to pair up on the m50 with the adapter because it's a small lightweight lens very small and lightweight and so it'll pair up nicely with the adapter without looking like you know you're putting a huge telephoto lens on this on the front of a very small camera so we'll take the front um, cover off that adapter find our markings to line this up so there's the 50 F1.8 STM mounted on the adapter. As you can see, it's still very small. Um, that's uh, not a large lens. Let's get the um, 1122 off of the camera. I'm going to flip this switch and compact it down, lock it in its, in its compacted mode, closed down mode, whatever you want to call that. Let's get the cover back on the 1122. And we're going to take our cover off the back of the adapter, which has now has the uh, the um, 50 f1.8 mounted. And there we go. So there's the M50 with the 50 f1.8. Still a great combo. Um, bear in mind that, you know, the M50 is still an APS-C size sensor. So Canon APS-C gives us the 1.6 times crop factor. So, again, one of the beautiful things about the 50 f1.8 
and it ma- maintains that still true on the M50, is that this is effective field of view of about an 80 mil lens. It's one of the reasons I like it so much. It's one of the reasons 50s are so popular on APS-C cameras. It gives us effective 80 mil, which is very close to an 85 traditional portrait lens. So we've got a fast f1.8, and we've got a STM lens. Um, so it's got the stepping motor for video, and look at the size of it on the, uh, the M50. It's, um, it fits nicely. Gives it a little bit more heft than anything we've previously seen because the mount itself is, it bears some weight. Um, it's probably heavier than the 50 because it's a nice metal adapter. But you can put any of the other lenses that I'm aware of. I think all of them work with the M-series adapter. There may be some that have some footnotes or limitations, but um, this should be interesting because now we're going to be able to see. I want to test how, it, you know, do we still maintain the autofocus? Is it just as good as if we were putting this 50 on, say, an ADD? Um, is the dual pixel AF just as good? Is it maintained just as well as if we were shooting with an ADD? In other words, are we going to lose anything using an M adapter? I don't think so, because from all reports, we, we don't, but I want to test it out. I also want to test this as a portrait lens on the M50, because this makes a great little camera, you know, high performance, 24 megapixel current state-of-the-art 24 megapixel uh, sensor so um, great camera option to say a larger bulkier bigger 80d or even um, than say the sl2 which as small as the sl2 is is still not this small and the sl2 doesn't give us 4k so there we go that's the uh, m series adapter for all the the ef lenses and i'll see maybe i can borrow an ef lens off a friend or two um, just to try on here as well. But, you know, the 50 was the one I wanted to get in for sure. Um, and uh, if you guys have any questions about the M-Series adapter, leave them in the comments below. See if I can get them answered for you. If you have any feedback, if you have the adapter, if you've used it, what your your thoughts are on our, you know, mini review if you want. Let us know uh, if you want to contribute that way on feedback or if you have any questions. And uh, if you have any questions about using the 50 on here, let me know too. Uh, If there's anything you want to see explained or covered or tested, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in. Um, As you can see, I'm really pumped to get out here and shoot with the M50 and this nice, like we got a good cross section now of lenses. We've got a fast 50 on here. We've got the, our base is covered from 11 to 200 here with the telephoto, the wide and the standard. We've got a pair of batteries, so we should be good for juice and um, on with the testing. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at rtheimage.com with more on the M50 and all these little goodies. Thanks.